uh, so so here's the plan, right? We're gonna make a fire simulation today in Blender. The only catch is that I've never made a fire simulation before. We're gonna make a fire in about one hour. It's hard to write with a mouse. Uh, here's the game plan, right? If you're going to make physics simulations, like for example, if we want to roll a ball down a hill, Blender can do that. It'll just make a ball and it'll keep rolling down the hill forever. No problem. But if you're making a water simulation, right? And the water starts to fall down and then it's rolling here. Eventually it's going to hit this box. And I don't really know what the box is called. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it the play area. So if we're trying to animate something like water or fire, it's always going to be kind of self-contained in the in a play area, right? So if you have water, it's gonna hit the edge of the play area and instead of rolling down this hill, it's gonna all build up right here. We want the play area, we want this box to be so high up that the little fire that we do doesn't hit the play area, doesn't hit the edge of this box. Am I getting through to anyone? Does this make sense? I'm gonna pretend I made any sense at all. <laughs> um, so let's do it. Okay, and go. Okay, so uh, in Blender, right? Uh, I'm gonna make a circle and I'm gonna fill it. So I made uh, this cylinder. This is gonna be the base of the fire, right? So we have our little uh, box here. The cylinder is right here. It's what's gonna produce the fire, right? Now, if I go to object, quick effects, and then I'm gonna go with smoke. Uh-oh, cool, we get this little uh, box, right? So we see that with our smoke simulation, it went up and then it hit this kind of uh, roof, right? It hit the roof of the play area. That's why we want to sort of expand it here so that it doesn't hit the roof. I think that's tall enough. I don't know how tall I want this to be really, but uh, that's, that's good enough. If I hit play, it goes all the way up here. Um, now what if it's still not fire? It is currently a smoke object, right? And we want it to be a fire object. So I chose fire, right? And now I have to bake that data in. While it's doing that, I guess I'll explain it. I've created a box and normally if you hit play, it'll play like uh, some random like animation, right? And if you modify it, it won't affect this animation. So I have to set it to bake and that'll bake the whole fire animation so you can actually tell that there's been a difference, I think. Oh, there it is. We got our fire. That do be fire. Let's hit render. That's not fire. So we have a fire here. When I hit render, it's not showing up. <laughs> I don't know why it's happening, but we have 50 minutes to figure it out. Skip, skip. Okay, you're showing how to do the fire. Something to do with the shader. We're gonna go with that. I don't wanna look through the video. <laughs> so it has something to do with what I'm looking at, but I don't know what. Not gonna lie. It looks kinda complicated. I'm gonna pretend that works. Let's try that out. Thank you, tutorial. Wait, is this a smoke? Am I rendering smoke? I stand corrected, I'm rendering fire. So now if I go here, we see our fire. If I hit render, still no fire. Why? Render. <gasps> we got it. Oh, we got fire. It's bad, it's a bad blurry fire, but we got fire. We can just start playing around with it now because there are all of these things on the side here that do stuff and I don't know what they do. Look at that. This right here is what's actually making it. So one, it's pretty dull. Uh, 15 is pretty, pretty strong. Like that's gonna take a while to render. Let's do, let's do like 20% quality render. Oh, but that makes the fire so much more, th like that's way better fire. If I zoom that in, like besides all the pixelation and all that, that's a way better fire. So I think I'm pretty much clear. Uh, I'm gonna pause it right there at 25 uh, minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and render this image out so then we can see it for the final product because this is gonna take a bit. I'm practically done making it, uh, but it's gonna take like half an hour to an hour for it to render. So I added this little uh, paper canvas thing. 
uh, so that we're not just, you know, in the void forever. And we actually have something that we can uh, see, this uh, area here. Uh, and here's the render, right? It's pretty, you know, it's pretty solid, actually. I love it. And this was a really good way to just make something and throw it out there and not have to make it perfect. Just like, boom, we did it. We're done. It's over. That's it. I'm done. Shoo, I'm done. Uh, like literally, the, the video is, bye.